Hey, I just got out of seeing Rogue One in IMAX 3D here in Blacksburg at the Franks Theater. And uh, I mainly went to see it here because last year I saw The Force Awakens in Real D 3D and um, I liked it. I was, I was blown away by the effectiveness of the layering in the picture. In IMAX 3D, I don't want to say that it's better because it really depends on the type of movie that you're watching. Let, let, let me put it to you like this. When I reviewed IMAX 3D for The Force Awakens, the, 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 the primary complaint was that um, it seemed as though things would jump off the screen at you, but not that there was a lot of depth to the picture. Um, I want to watch The Force Awakens and Rey is climbing around inside of the Star Destroyer in the beginning of the film in this giant chasm. It, it really felt as though I could reach into the picture. I mean, that's, you can just, there's, there's just so much depth to the picture. And there's some uh, foreground uh, uh, layering. With IMAX 3D, they accomplished both. Uh, the new generation of IMAX 3D is, is, I want to say it's actually more advanced because now they can they can they can give you objects close to you and ob objects behind you. Um, I'm sorry, not behind you, but objects in the background, so foreground and background. So the layering is very very good, and the this obviously the size of the screen is a huge advantage over the New River Stadium. Um, their screens are smaller, real D 3D good smaller screen IMAX is 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 got this advantage over them because they have a superior screen size that gives you a more immersive uh, uh, a, a more immersive experience the sound is better uh, I don't know why I mean I just kind of feel like I feel like like the New River Valley Stadium was not intended to be used in this fashion and they kind of upgraded it. They didn't upgrade their sound systems, they didn't upgrade the size of the screen. So the IMAX theater here in Blacksburg was intended. They they kind of, when they built it, it almost seems as though they knew what was coming in the future. Of course, they, they, they anticipated it and they said, this is what we're, how we're gonna design it so that when the future comes, a nice big screen, a great surround sound system. The IMAX 3D limitation is the, is the, what, I was talking to a guy in the theater who runs the uh, the 3D for the theater, and he says they, they call it the up, down, left, right. So if I look up and if I look down, if I look left and I look right, the picture is fine. That used to be a problem with IMAX, and they've eliminated that. But if I tilt my head, then I can see the layering. It's very obvious. Um, and that, you know, if you take your lenses and you tip them on top like this, then the layering becomes more obvious. Now, the gentleman that I spoke to said that they have solved that issue with the most recent generation that we should be seeing when the next Star Wars film comes out, is his prediction, because they're already running it in larger markets, Miami and San Francisco and so on and so forth. Um, so... It's Star Wars, and you're completely blown away by the epicness of the film. It's Rogue One, and the Rebel Alliance is getting its footing and getting ready to to hit the Empire where, where it matters. And there's lots of drama, and there's lots of action sequences, and there's lots of um, special effects and you lose yourself, you really do, you lose yourself in the experience when you're watching it in 3D. It does, it's almost as if the elements that I described to you aren't there. Now, I look for them because I'm comparing the two and I'm looking to see which one I want to watch episode eight in, you know, which one is better. My opinion is that IMAX 3D is better, not by leaps and bounds, um, with real D 3D, you don't have this left-right problem. Um, the polarization is uh, 
much more improved than that, so it doesn't really matter. If you're sitting in front of the screen and you want to look like this, if you want to look up, it doesn't affect the layering in your vision. That's good, but you lose a lot of the foreground activity that you can gain with IMAX 3D, which to me, I, I, I sit pretty still when I'm watching a movie anyway, so I, I, I want to gain the foreground and the background activity, uh, the 3D activity, and, and I don't care about head movement. Uh, so it's it's worth it to me. The size of the screen, and I remember talking to uh, just now the, the gentleman that was at the theater, uh, asking about is is Real D 3D looking to improve the size of their screens? Is this something that they can do? And they can, but it's 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 not in the market right now. So there doesn't appear to be a there doesn't appear to be a readiness. Of, of resources or uh, or plan even. So, <clears throat> IMAX 3D. I would recommend that if you're going to go see Rogue One in 3D or uh, at this point any film, uh, I I would just recommend IMAX. Uh, it's a couple of dollars more. Uh, the 3D real D 3D is like 12 bucks at New River Stadium, and IMAX 3D is 13. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I've got that wrong. IMAX 3D is 1650. Real D 3D at New River Stadium is like fourteen dollars, maybe fifteen. So it's a little cheaper to go Real D 3D, but you lose something, and it's it's quite obvious that what what I gained from IMAX 3D in this film compared to The Force Awakens was worth the extra dollar. Worth it, definitely. Now, when you go in, you want to. Uh, try and get seats uh, that are obviously central, but there are hot seats. And when the, the 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 tech that goes in to calibrate the sound system and the projectors, when they go in, they pick out the central rows. He calls them the hot seats. So row F and G are the best seats to sit in. G, I was going to take F. But G is a little bit higher and a little bit farther back. Remember, this is this is uh, amphitheater seating, so it's it's a very steep uh, incline. So you're not sitting behind someone; you're sitting above someone. So with G, my eye line was right in the middle of the screen, and I was back a little bit from the screen. So the the uh, I want to say the paragraphs of the of the picture, but that's not paragraphs. The uh, <laughs> the margins, the margins of the screen are they fill my peripheral, so I don't really have to. I feel like I'm I'm receiving the most immersive visual picture possible. So rows F or G recommended. G is I think the best. I sat in G11, which is smack dab in the middle of the screen. Um, and it was great. It was wonderful. I was, I had more fun watching it this time than I did when I went and saw it on opening night in 2D. So, if you're gonna go see it in 3D, my recommendation is IMAX 3D. Definitely, you'll pay you'll pay a dollar or two more, but you're gonna receive a much better, um, much better entertainment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, hey, y'all have a merry Christmas and a happy holidays, and enjoy Star Wars, and. Uh, I don't know. May the force be with you. I guess it's probably the best catchphrase. <laughs>